My name is Chester Donath. I served in 3rd Ranger Battalion, 75th Ranger Regiment, as well as Bravo 38 Cav, Long Range Surveillance. I deployed multiple times for Operation Enduring Freedom, as well as Operation Iraqi Freedom. Although it was a fairly short period of my life, I feel like so much happened in such a short amount of time that it really brought so many memories and uh, lessons from all the experiences that I had. Something that I reflect back on pretty frequently was during our outings in the long range surveillance unit I was a part of, we would go out for multiple days out in the field, um, sometimes a week or more, no showers, uh, no hot food, basically MREs, you know, so obviously there was no running water or anything out there. But uh, you know, the standard was still to shave every day. So we had to, each morning, get up and shave. And uh, you know, when you think of Iraq, you think of a hot desert, but during the winter time, it, it got to be uh, fairly cold, you know, especially during the night and in the mornings. And so, you know, you don't have a water heater out there. You, you have um, no way to heat up your water. And so we'd be out there, you know, scraping the hair off of our faces. You know, a lot of times, you know, you could try to do like dry shaving, but if you wanted some moisture or something, you know, you could, you could grab like really cold, ice cold water and splash it on your face, you know, and then just like, just like scrape the hair off your face. Um, but there was no like shaving cream or, or any like lotions out there, you know, we didn't have that stuff. You know, sometimes I take, you know, a couple MRE heaters or something, throw some, some water in a bag, try to like warm it up just a little bit. And you know, it, it, it'd never get it really hot, but it'd be sometimes like lukewarm. You know, like if we had the time, I would try to do that, but it was still just like, remember it, just such a miserable feeling to like get up in the morning when you already, you know, it's not like we had like fresh coffee brewing or anything. You know, it was like crappy MRE coffee and just get up in the morning, you're freaking cold, you're tired because you were on guard shift or whatever multiple times during the night and you just got to like start scraping away at your face. Um, to try to shave, you know, halfway, halfway decent. And I just, when I think back to that, I think it was like a little thing, but it was just like so miserable. And you know, now every time that I shave, I, I always think back to that and and think how good I got it now. And I have it that good because of the men and women that continue to serve, have served, and are currently serving. You know, I have the utmost respect for every single veteran that's ever served and I do have a special place in my heart um, for those of us who are combat veterans who are you know really in you know exiting the fob and and actually in um, you know firefights and and kind of on the front lines you know like I said I have utmost respect for every veteran but uh, you know that brotherhood of, of, of infantry guys combat arms guys you know, I have like kind of a connection somewhat to, you know, like I just, I know how crappy sometimes it could get. And I just have a deep appreciation for the guys who signed up for those hard jobs, you know, and they could have easily got a uh, nice cushy office job and, um, you know, had warm water every day. But those guys that, that volunteered and then they volunteered again to do, you know, be on the front lines and to be in combat um, that is you know that is I just have an intense respect for everyone who who has done that and uh, signs up for that so you know this Veterans Day whatever you think about you know I'll be thinking about those cold miserable shaves in Iraq and just how good we really do have it in America and you know just always appreciate that always appreciate even those little things that you have and uh, remember that it does come as a price happy Veterans Day to all those who have served who are serving currently and who will be serving in the future